Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to the last story we are going to read together in our Reader the Green Fern Zoo. There are other stories in the reader. So if you want to go to the book located in the CKLA tools and read the remaining stories on your own, you are able to do that. But this is the last story we will read together before we move on and do a few more other lessons and then move on to skills five. So let's go ahead and begin. Today, we're gonna to be reading about river otters. The purpose is to learn about river otters, including what they like to eat. Let's talk about some vocabulary words or words to listen for. The first word is otter, an animal with brown fur that lives near and in water. An example, the otter likes to float in the water. Webbed is the next word. That's connected by a thin amount of skin. Ducks have webbed feet to help them move in the water. Scamper, hurry, run is what scamper means. An example, the squirrel will scamper around the tree to get some acorns. The next word, den, that's an animal's home. A fox lives in a den. The next word, bark. That's the outer layer of a tree. An example, the bark on an aspen tree is smoother than the bark on an oak tree. Moss is our next word. A small green plant that feels soft to the touch. An example, the green soft moss grew on the side of the shady side of the boulder. And our phrase in our story to listen for today is webbed paws, toes or fingers that are connected by a thin amount of skin. An example, the otter's webbed paws made it easy to catch food. Let's go over our preview spellings. We have double letters, double L, O for hill, Allen, and well. We have the ED that says D for webbed, lined. We have ER says er for river, otter, summer, winter, tricky words, down, there, and do. And our two syllable words, Alex, Agnes, webbing, scamper. Boys and girls, every word in that preview spelling list, you should be able to sound out and read. Today at the end of our story, your teacher will assign an activity, whether it is filling out activity 21.1 and answering the questions in sentences and the multiple choice or another activity, knowing the answers to these four questions will help. Let's review. What do river otters like to do? Which is not the river otter's home? Ooh, so let's listen so we know where river otters live. What part helps river otters swim fast? Let's make sure we know what helps the river otter swim fast. What do river otters like for food? What do river otters like for food? Making sure that if it gives you plenty of space for a sentence, you answer with a complete sentence. All right, here we go. Let's start our story. The title, River Otters. Getting your reading fingers ready. What river otters like to do? Reading with me. Do you like to run and jump? Do you like to chase your pals? Do you like to splash in the pool in the summer? Do you like to slide down hills in the winter? Well, if you like to do those things, 
You would make a good otter. You can see three of our river otters up on the rocks. Alex, Alan, and Agnes. That's Alex up on top of Alan. The last one is Agnes. River otters sitting on rocks by the side of the river. Boys and girls, just like we have before, please push pause on the video and read this to yourself. Practice your very good reading skills. Push pause now. Nice job reading. Let's go to our next page. What river otters look like? Otters have short, strong legs with webbed paws and sharp claws. The webbing helps the otters swim fast and get their food. River otters hunt for fish, frogs, and crabs. River otter homes. When it is time for bed, the river otters scamper to their den. They have nests on land that are lined with grass, moss, and bark. River otters have short legs with webbed paws and short claws. Boys and girls, push pause again and do your best reading on this page. Nice job. Boys and girls, it's time for you to do the activity that your teacher has assigned for you about this story. Do your very best. And remember, you can always come back and listen to the story again, or you can find the story listed under your CKLA tools where the entire book, The Green Fern Zoo, has been posted for you to read. Have an excellent day.